Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to get another unique weapon in uh, Fallout 4. Uh, first of all, just to give you a perspective of where we are, I'm still in the mission um, Call to Arms, the uh, same mission as I was in the last episode where I showed you the junk gun. And so, once you pick up the deep range transmitter here, um, you're going to need to leave uh, the ac or exit the arc jet system. So... What that entails is just simply coming over here and popping the elevator and heading on up. Don't even try to try to fit your companion and paladin, the paladin into here because you just don't fit. Like, it, look how crowded this is. It's so hard to get them. I've tried. I tried because I was like, eh. Because sometimes they don't always teleport to you depending on how far up or down you go. Uh, and so... Okay, teleport in front of me. You're gonna come into this area. There is some decent stuff to look to loot. Um, I have a bunch of space, so I am gonna loot. Uh, but definitely make sure to come over here. Let me turn my flashlight on. Um, there is some decent stuff here. Nothing great. Um, but back here there is a stim pack and a blood pack. Uh, definitely worth picking up. And then right here is a weapon, the tactical tuned pipe. Uh, revolver pistol uh, that's not the unique weapon I'm going to be showing you but it is something you know you might as well pick up uh, so then you're gonna want to head out here gonna get some dialogue here and I'll let it I'll let uh, let this go well, that could have gone smoother but mission accomplished smoother I thought we did fine we're both alive and the transmitter's been secure there's no need to scrutinize the details I thought we worked well as a team agreed it's a refreshing change to work with a civilian who can follow orders properly. That being said, I believe we have two important matters to discuss. First and foremost, if you'll hand me the deep range transmitter, I'd like to compensate you for your assistance during this operation. I think you'll find this weapon useful. It's my own personal modification of the standard Brotherhood laser rifle. May it serve you well in battle. All right, so what you're gonna get here is the Righteous Authority. Critical shots do double damage, and the critical meter fills 15% faster. A uh, really nice um, kind of bonus that the gun has. Uh, it comes pretty stock. There's not really any extra mods on it, which is kind of disappointing for it being kind of his like own gun. It would have been nice um, if they would have done something and given some a couple mods on it or something. But comes standard with the standard capacitor, long barrel, full stock, standard sights, and no muzzle. It's got 26 damage. Uh, you're going to get a bunch of cells from that mission, so you should have plenty of ammo. Uh, the fire rate is not bad. Range is pretty good. Accuracy, not bad. Uh, weight is actually pretty good at 5.5 pounds, and the value is nice as well, but I will be keeping... Um, money's not really a problem for me so far in the game, so I will be keeping all of these unique weapons. Uh, but that is the Righteous Authority, and I thought I'd show you guys. Don't you need to keep it? This isn't the only weapon at my disposal. Brotherhood soldiers always carry a backup. Now, as far as the second matter goes, I wanted to make you a proposal. We had a lot thrown at us back there. Our op could have ended in disaster, but you kept your cool and handled it like a soldier. There's no doubt in my mind that you've got what it takes. When we met at the police station, you told me you wanted to join the Brotherhood of Steel. Is that something you're still willing to do? Or should we just say our goodbyes? Okay, so I don't know if joining the Brotherhood of Steel will screw up me, you know, being um, part of the Minutemen, but I'm going to go ahead and agree to join for the achievement at least. I'd be honored to join. Yeah, is honored the word? That's what I wanted to hear. Meet me back at the police station and we'll discuss the details. Okay, I have a previous save. Piper doesn't like that. Um, I don't know all what uh, what that entails, but um, that's going to do it for this episode. It's not about that, uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will catch you guys in the next uh, little guide. Catch, catch you guys later. Peace.